Yo, 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 what's up everybody, it's your boy Spirit here, and today I'm bringing you an article that was by Eurogamer about Total War, or basically the Creative Assembly. So it says right here, Total War developer Creative Assembly is refocusing on strategy games after the hiatus failure. Sega says, studio good at offline games and RTS are on. Thank you. Just by that title alone, it makes it so much better because this, basically Creative Assembly just needs to stay in what? Their lane. That's how it should be. At least in my personal opinion, their best strategy games. They need to refocus and give their core community what they want. Quit trying to chase these trends, especially when you're several years late on these trends. So, into the article here. UK developer Creative Assembly will refocus on making real-time strategy games following the cancellation of online extraction shooter Hyenas. In a presentation to investors, Creative Assembly owner Sega admitted that Hyenas project had been an attempt to accelerate the studio's growth. Even though the game's genre lay outside the developer's usual area of of expertise. Hyenas was canceled in September after several years in, in development and a public demo at Gamescom only weeks before. The decision to cancel the project resulted in layoffs in Creative Assembly, but the majority of the project's team believed to be at risk. Now, keep this in mind, but I think the layoffs are to those people who like basically got hired on for the project and whenever the, the project got shut down, you know, those layoffs, those people who got hired, yes, they got, you know, laid off because of that, you know, they don't, they weren't needed anymore in a sense. So it's a bit like temporary jobs, you know, now, each studio has its own strengths and weaknesses, but favorable ones of the early COVID-19 period, coupled with strong performance of each title, led us to adapt a strategy of accelerating more. Even in areas where studios have not tried yet for further growth, Sega boss Haruka Satomi said. I mean, in my personal opinion, it feels like Sega should have just focused on um, basically maybe even creating a whole other studio to create these chasing trends or you know, types of games. Instead of taking a well-known strategy genre developer and trying to turn them into a FPS you know, developer to chase a trend. You kind of get what I'm saying here? Now, however, some studios did well and some did not. So we have decided to focus again on the strength of each studio. So, well, there you go. That's how you should have been Sega. I don't know what Sega's thinking. See, this is why I think Sega should you know, have little control over these developing teams, but like, let these developing teams... Fo- Focus on creating, like again, what their strengths are. You know, should as, as it always should be. I know the creative siblings sometimes might get bored of creating Total War, but that's your strength. That's what you're known for. You should stick to your, you know, to what you know instead of trying to, to do something that you're not known for. You know. So to put it simply, Creative Simply was good at offline games in the RTS genre, but they took a challenge on developing Hyenas and on like gaming the FPS genre again later, way too late. However, although the game itself was good we decided to cancel the development of hyenas because we did not think it would reach the quality that would satisfy our users when we considered whether we could operate this as a competitive online game for a long period of time great assembly is of course best known for the creation of its popular successful series the total war strategy titles the franchise has launched 16 games in the past 23 years that's actually kind of a lot within the past 23 years. I mean, I get that, you know, each period, you know, you can kind of just copy and paste on and on, but like, it is kind of like, it kind of shows that like, you should probably start to dwindle down and like, give us the best games that like, you can make within like three years instead of just giving us a game every single year. Now, fellow UK studio Frontier has now said it will re- refocus on simulation games following low sales of real-time strategy game Warhammer Age of Sigmar Realms of Ruin. Now, I wouldn't say that game wasn't too bad, it's just, my own my issue with Realms of Ruin, by the way, keep in mind, is just the whole lock in combat. Get rid of that. I'm telling you, the game will be a thousand times better. Get rid of. I get what they're going for. Just make it Dawn of War. It's that simple. It literally is that simple. Get rid of the whole lock in fighting combat, and people will love it a lot more. If they don't get rid of that, then yes, the game is dead on arrival. You know, and it's only going to be great for the story, which is what a lot of content creators going to be playing on. You know, even I, and from the beta of that game, mind you, I said, get rid of this lock in whole combat system. I. And you'll be a thousand times. I get that they want to have support for the console players, but you know this is a PC game through and through. Get rid of that function, boom, you're good. Last month, Hyenas developers shared some of their frustrations with now canceled project, which they claimed suffered from lack of direction. It was metaphorically turned, <laughs> and it will, it was shown, it was proven, by the way, that um, the funds that Total Warhammer was making went straight to Hyenas. So that's actually pretty asinine and crazy. But let me know what you guys think about this here. Um, did you guys, do you all agree with this? Do you all disagree with this? You know, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys want to support this channel further, definitely consider liking and subscribing. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell. Know if on other future videos like this here. And last but not least, if you guys want to support me 
Definitely consider becoming a patron or a channel member. Thank y'all for watching. Peace out. Much already. Have a good one, y'all. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also hit the bell notification down below. Thanks for watching.